Back in 2017, so quite a while ago, I did a blog post that was all about how you could add images and hyperlinks into your email signature in Dynamics 365. And the way in which I showed that still works today, but there's a newer and better way to be doing this. So in this video, and we have a blog post that goes along with it, I'm going to show how you can actually use and access email signatures from within the unified interface, so from a model-driven Power App. So if you are using the Customer Service Hub, which is one of the standard apps um, that you can access, if I go here, we can see that we've got um, email signatures down at the bottom here. And that's one of the things that is automatically included within this specific app. Now, if I wanted to add it to another app, let's go ahead and we'll go into the survey feedback one that I have. We could actually add this into a custom model-driven app. Now, there is a way to get access to the email signatures without adding it into the unified interface. If I go up here to the top and I go to personalization settings and from within the personalization settings, We can see here that on one of the tabs we have email signatures and I can click on new and I can add my email signature from here. Now this is what I would call the old or the classic way of doing this and we can see we've got a few buttons here in terms of making something bold, italic or underlined and so on but we don't have an easy or obvious way to add images. Now again I wrote about this in 2017, you can do this, you can copy and paste things in here um, but it's like I said it's not obvious, it's not intuitive. So I'm going to close out of this and we'll close this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into make.powerapps.com and if you were doing this um, for real rather than just for a demonstration video here, I would create a solution. I would put the sitemap into the solution for the app and I would edit from there. What I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to go directly into apps and I'm going to go into my survey feedback app and I'm going to go ahead and edit the app. And once I've got the app open, I'm going to go to the sitemap and I'm going to go ahead and click edit there. Now let's go ahead and I'm just going to add it into the marketing area just for argument's sake, just to put it somewhere. I'm going to select that specific area and I'm going to add a sub area into the marketing group. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, I'm adding an entity and I'm just going to go ahead and search for email signature. And it's as simple as that. Once I've added it, I'm going to go ahead and save it and I'm going to go ahead and publish the sitemap. And we just refresh the app. We can see there now we have email signatures. All right, so I'm going to go into the email signatures. Now this is going to look so much nicer. So if I just go ahead and click new, here we can see we have a new editor area and right from the start I can see there's a button to add an image and we've also got a button to add a, a URL if we want to as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this main signature and I'm going to say I want to set this as the default which means that anytime I send an email it's going to automatically default in and show this specific signature. So I'm going to just put in and then Megan V Walker and then let's just go ahead and make this bold. Now to add the um, the image, what I can do is just go ahead and click on the image button. And there we can see that we've got two options. We can either add the image from a URL or we can browse out and add the image. Now, what I'm going to do is if I just go to my website and go down to the bottom, I'm going to select the URL for my specific um, Twitter icon and I'm going to paste that URL in there and the target URL is going to be the URL that I actually want someone to go to when they click on this. So we can see it's really, really straightforward and easy to set up. The target I want to open up in a new blank window and I can put in alternative text and I can set the width and the height of the icon and then we'll just go ahead and click OK. And there we can see now that we have that image and that image has been set as a hyperlink. Just going to go ahead and save. Oh, 
hang on a second. I'll just go ahead and save that and close it. So now what I'm going to do is if I go to um, a contact here and I'm going to go ahead and we'll add in an email. And we can see that my signature is automatically added to that email. All right, so let's go back. And another thing that you can do that um, is the same thing that you could do back in the classic interface, but again, it just is a lot easier to do now. If I go to my actual email signature, so let's just open up that, and I can literally just copy this. So this is um, uh, Outlook in Office 365 that I'm using, and I've just uh, created a new email. There's my signature. I can copy all of that, select it and copy it and just basically get rid of what's there and paste my signature directly in there. And that's it, as simple as that. And I can go ahead and save and close. That is now the signature that I have set up in Dynamics 365 so that whenever I send a new email, it's going to look exactly the same as it does as if I send it out of Outlook. So it's so much easier, it looks a lot better. Um, it's going to be easier for end users if you're having them set up their own signatures to be able to do this because again, like I said, they can just click and they can add images this way. One thing I would say is yes, it's fine. I can copy and paste from Outlook. That looks great. Um, what you might want to do if you're setting this up for an organization is have people use a specific URL for the images. And then that way, if you ever want to change the images of what they are, then somebody who is responsible for the web server where those images are hosted can just go ahead and replace the image at that same URL so that you don't have to have people go and change and update their, um, their signature on a regular basis if you think you might be changing your images regularly. So like I said, very straightforward. You can do the same thing as you could before. It's just a lot easier, a lot faster, and hopefully um, is a little bit more intuitive in terms of how you can add images and add a URL to an image as well. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.